of my favorite passports in the world is the underrated Mexican passport. It gives you access to pretty much any country that you would want to go around the world, with the exceptions of the United States and Australia and China to a certain extent, because you can always get a transit and that's visa free to China. You can stay anywhere from three days all the way to almost one week in many different cities in China. You can also apply for an e-visa to Russia now that they've reinstated the e visas you can go to the schengen area to the uk to new zealand to Canada and you can obviously apply for a US visa and get access to the US. This is literally the most underrated passport in the world. Mexico is a country where people think that you'll get kidnapped, that you'll get robbed, that it's a terrible place, that it's the third world country, but it has amazing cities like Polanco in Mexico City. It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's like Beverly Hills. Everything is clean, luxurious. You have beautiful beaches, you have beautiful mountains, you have very safe cities as well like Merida in the Yucatan Peninsula and overall many different lifestyles that you can live in the exact same country. Mexico personally is one of my favorite countries in the entire world and obviously you get to live in it if you are a citizen. Becoming a citizen isn't that straightforward. We've actually helped a lot of our clients become residents of Mexico and then later on become citizens of Mexico but you can easily get a residency visa and then you can live in Mexico, learn Spanish, integrate yourself into Mexico and you're not really sacrificing much because it's close to the United States or Canada if you're coming from that section of the world and you can easily fly to Europe if you're coming from Europe. The language is easy to learn, the people are friendly, the food is amazing, the weather is amazing. Overall, one of the best places to live in the world and you'll work towards a passport that gives you access to pretty much any country that you would want to go to. Let's say you're a US citizen and you want to renounce your US citizenship, getting a Mexican passport would then give you access to pretty much every other country that you had access except the United States. If you don't care about going there, you renounce and then you keep your Mexican passport. If your children are born in Mexico, they are Mexicans directly and then you can get easily permanent residency. A lot of people are going to Mexico, Mexico City specifically, having children in Mexico and then getting permanent residency that way and then later on working towards that Mexican underrated citizenship. What I've also seen with the Mexican passport is that many people around the world, specifically in immigration, don't have any bad idea about Mexico. Yes, they might think that there's a lot of criminal activity, a lot of cartels in Mexico. Yes, it has that bad reputation. But overall, if you go to Europe on a Mexican passport, oh, Mexico, I like Cancun or I've been to Tulum or whatever. And then you go to other parts of the world like Asia or Eastern Europe or other countries in Latin America and they think, oh, Mexico, the big Latin American country. Everybody wants to go there. Great, you don't need a visa, go ahead. Overall, there is not that bad reputation and there's also not that bad experience of, for example, traveling with a St. Kitts passport where many people don't even know what St. Kitts is. They don't even know that that's a country. And a lot of banks around the world, they see a St. Kitts passport, they think, oh, that's a tax haven, citizenship by investment. We don't want that specific passport to open a bank account here. If you show up with a Mexican passport, there's not really any issues associated with it unless that particular person has a bad idea about Mexico, which is going to happen with pretty much any passport around the world. If you use a US passport and some places around the world, they will hate it because they hate America or they think America is the police of the world and they want to control everybody. If they have that bias against your citizenship, then obviously you're going to have some problems. But overall, Mexico is, I would say, a clean citizenship around the world to travel with, to do PR, to do other citizenships around the world. And if you want to get, for example, even better citizenship, although you might have to sacrifice paying taxes, if you're a Mexican citizen, you can work towards Spanish citizenship in two years because Mexico has a treaty with Spain that allows Mexican citizens to get that Spanish citizenship after two years of living in Spain. You will need to pay Spanish taxes. You will need to pay wealth taxes, extremely high income tax over 50%, but still you have that opportunity and your children also have that opportunity to work towards a Spanish passport. What I also like about the Mexican passport is as I mentioned before, you have e-visa access to Russia. And even though getting an e-visa is a little bit tricky when it comes to Russia, they don't have a specific alignment with the West. Yes, they're technically align with the West, with the United States, but they're creating some separation from the United States. The president is creating that separation from other countries that want to bully Mexico, that want to control Mexico. They want to be a little bit more individualistic and they want to have that connection to both sides of the world. As I mentioned with the Serbian passport, they have great relationships with the West and they have great relationships with the East of the world, with Russia, with China. Mexico 
is in a certain category, just like Serbia, which they have good relationships with both sides of the world. So you have access to all the countries in case you want to hedge your bets on the future of the world. If you want to get yourself a Mexican passport, Mexican residency, and overall enjoy all the benefits of being a Mexican resident or citizen, click that link in the description, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and the Wealthy Expat team. We're happy to help you. If you want to know other underrated passports around the world and what is the perfect passport portfolio that you should have for the maximum freedom, asset protection, and access to the world, check out this video right here on the best citizenships in the new world order. You're going to learn a lot from it. Check it out right here.